G'day guys, uh, yeah, two and a pose from the dog beach again. I uh, had a few questions following up. A couple of clients have asked me and a couple of people through Facebook. Uh, following up on how do you take a break in, and how did I switch from sleeping four hours a night and you know, get into the office at six, chugging through on coffee all day without a break to being able to, to force myself or discipline myself to, uh, to take a break during the day. It wasn't easy, it was a hard break. What I actually uh, did to start with was create a framework that meant I had no choice. So I started to go to silent retreats in Bali, a place called Bali Silent Retreat, originally enough. And I'd go for between five and seven days, and I would book that every two months. So as soon as I got back, I would literally book the next trip, the flights, and the time there. And that meant that every two months, I had no choice but to go away for five to seven days and actually get clear on, on where I was going in my direction. And I needed that period of time because I think if you can meditate every day, which I managed to do now, I get up every morning and meditate on my balcony, it's great. When I couldn't find that because I was so busy running the business, then having that time, you know, the first two to three days was literally just writing down my action plans, getting everything clear on the direction we needed to take. You know, two to three days in, I was, I was reamed, I was ready to go. I was, I was like, cool, let's get back, let's jump into it, I've, I've got clarity. And those extra couple of days made all the difference because that's when I got to, to really start to think about the other things that mattered and, and to figure out the direction that I was going to take beyond the business. Because it is critical to remember that most of us aren't in business just to be successful in business. And if you are, then have a look at the ego. Most of us are there because you know, we've got other goals. We, we want to be successful in business so that we can provide for our families or live the lifestyle we want to or contribute to the world in the way we want to. Just be clear on why you're doing it and you're not going to do that when you're just running 100 miles an hour trying to make the business grow. You've got to step back and you've got to take that time just to think. Yeah, you're going to think about the business for a lot of that time, so either do it regularly and if you can't, then create a framework. You know, my framework was to book those flights, to book those trips every two months. If you can't do that, find another framework. You don't roll in a yoga class that's, that's twice a week, you're in yoga or you know, even a regular yoga or a meditation thing and commit to going, actually go. The cost's more great because if you're going to feel crap about missing it, you've got to make that commitment to go. And when you've got that scheduled in, it's harder to, to get around it and to avoid it. So, yeah, for me, before I could create the discipline to do that meditation every morning, I created a framework that meant I had to. I hope that helps, guys, because, yeah, stepping back and thinking is one of the most powerful things that you can do for your business. It's certainly what lets me sit on this uh, beach up in the Sunshine Coast now at, uh, you know, four in the afternoon. And, and decide what I'm going to do today, tomorrow, and, and yeah, every other day. It's, uh, it's pretty powerful.